Tiwa is an Australian Aboriginal language spoken by the Tiwa people on the Tiwa Islands, within sight of the coast of Northern Australia. It is one of about 10% of Australian languages still being learned by children. Traditional Tiwa, spoken by people over the age of 50 by 2005, is a polysynthetic language. However, this grammatical complexity has been lost among younger generations. Tiwa has around 100 nominals that can be incorporated into verbs, most of them quite different from the corresponding free forms. Tiwa has long been regarded as a language isolate. Phonology Consonants Like most Australian languages, Tiwa has four phonetically distinct series of coronal stops. See coronals in indigenous Australian languages. There are contrasting alveolar and postalveolar apical consonants, the latter often called retroflex. However, the two laminal series are in complementary distribution, with postalveolar laminal T, sometimes described as alveolopalatal, occurring before the front vowel, I, and denti alveolar laminal T, occurring before the non-front vowels, A, O, U. That is, phonologically Tiwa has at most three series. However, some analyses treat postalveolar P as a sequence P, since it only occurs in medial position. In addition, Tiwa has a velar approximant, which is somewhat unusual for an Australian language. Typically for an Australian language, there are no fricatives. Tiwa allows consonant clusters in medial position. Besides the possibility of t for t, these include other liquid stop clusters and nasal stop clusters such as MP. However, there is little reason to choose between an analysis of MP as being a cluster as opposed to a prenasalized stop. There is also a glottal stop in the inventory of speech sounds in Tiwa, but as Osborne notes, it functions to mark the end of a sentence and as such, is best analyzed as a part of Tiwa prosody. Vowels Tiwa has four phonemic vowels. The frequency of the open back vowel, o, is relatively low. It is neutralized with a following with and does not occur initially or finally. However, minimal pairs exist, albeit few in number, to prove its existence as a distinct phoneme. Gelati, knife. Gelati, forever each phonemic vowel exhibits a broad range of allophones, many of which overlap with allophones of other vowels, and three vowels, i, a, and, u, reduced to, p, in many unstressed syllables. All vowels are phonemically short, while long vowels occur when medial glides are reduced. For example, pow wu, pow, place name. Morphology Tiwa is characterized by its highly complex verb morphology. Tiwa is a polysynthetic language with a heavy use of noun incorporation such that all elements of a sentence may be expressed in a single morphological and phonological word as in the following example. Jinuatmilipamat, het, umalpiakin, ha. He came and stole my wild honey this morning while I was asleep around 100 nominals may be incorporated into the verb in Tiwa, but the incorporated forms often differ significantly from the corresponding free forms, or their closest semantic correspondent as illustrated below. Dixon, 1980, suggests that while some forms have merely undergone phonological reduction as a result of being grammaticalized, others bear no phonological resemblance to their corresponding free form due to lexical replacement and taboo. Verb morphology Osborne 1974, identifies 11 grammatical categories that can be marked on verbs. They are listed below using his terminology. All verbs must be marked for tense, person and number, and third person singular subjects and objects are also obligatorily marked for gender. All other categories listed below are not grammatically obligatory. Verbal categories after Osborne 1974, the terminology Osborne uses for the grammatical categories, in particular the aspects and voices, does not conform to more recent cross-linguistic standards see terms for various aspects. For instance, Osborne glosses verbs containing the beginning aspect as started to, which closer aligns to what is now called the inceptive or inchoative, while the aspect that Osborne calls inceptive is glossed as about to, which is more reminiscent of the perspective. Nominal morphology 
Tiwa, like many indigenous Australian languages, does not distinguish between nouns and adjectives. Both things and properties or qualities of those things are encoded by the nominal word class. Nominals in Tiwa are marked for gender and number. However, the plural is ungendered, resulting in three categories, masculine, feminine and plural. Gender Gender is sexually assigned for humans and animals, but semantically assigned for inanimate objects on the basis of shape. Things that are thin, small and straight are assigned to the masculine gender, and objects that are large round and ample are assigned to the feminine. As a result, nominals in Tiwa may take either gender depending on the context and reference. Grass, for instance, is masculine when referring to a blade of grass, but feminine when referring to a patch or expanse of grass. Masculine nominals are marked either by the suffix ni or ti, and feminine nominals by a or ka. Furthermore, many nominals are implicitly masculine or feminine and lack overt marking. However, as nominals denoting properties always take regular gender suffixes that agree with the object they modify, the covert gender of these nominals can be ascertained. The table below from Osborne 1974 to 52 lists the suffixes marking each gender as well as their rate of occurrence among 200 tokens from each class. Number Nominals in Tiwa can be marked for plural either by a plural suffix y or pi. The plural suffix fills the same morpheme slot as gender suffixes and as a result, plurals do not contrast for gender. Some nominals Osborne counts 19, undergo partial reduplication of the stem when pluralized. The form of the reduplicant is always ca, where c becomes the initial consonant of the stem, thus maruntani, white man, and murantaka, white woman, pluralized to mamurantawi, white people. Human and non-human Osborne also identifies a distinction among Tiwa nominals as to whether they belong to a human class or a non-human class. However the category is covert on nominals themselves, and is only marked on numerals. Modern Tiwa Since contact with Europeans, Tiwa has been undergoing changes to its structure that have resulted in a modern version of the language that is quite typologically distinct from traditional Tiwa. These changes have affected the verb morphology and lexicon of Tiwa, resulting in a language that is relatively isolating, compared with its polysynthetic predecessor. Contact with English has also resulted in a number of other varieties of Tiwa, such as children's Tiwa and Tiwa English, in which Tiwa people have varying levels of proficiency. In 1993, traditional Tiwa was spoken only by people over 55, with modern Tiwa being spoken by everyone up until the age of 30. The main change that separates traditional and modern Tiwa is the level of complexity in the verb. Traditional Tiwa is a polysynthetic language while modern Tiwa is isolating, with some inflection. The examples below show the difference between a sentence rendered in traditional Tiwa and modern Tiwa. Traditional Tiwa Nyira Ampi ni watu wujingi ma j irakurnigi y angorlame ami. Shi chi NPST lock morning CONT with CV light CV walk MOV. Shi the sun is shining over there in the morning. Lit. She is walking over there in the morning with a light. Modern Tiwa. Japanara jira wokapat ampi jiki mi kutafu with layat. Morning she walk she, NPSTCONT do over dot there with light. External links Paradisec has a number of collections that include Tiwa language materials. References